You know, NHL history is a weird game because certain players played with Hall of Famers, certain players were traded for Hall of Famers, and certain skaters were traded with Hall of Famers. Now, today we're going to be talking about a person that fits in those categories, traded for Kenny Linsman and traded with Gretzky and McSorley in the LA Kings deal. Uh, and a top prospect uh, when he came in with Boston, but the crusher got most of his recognition again with Edmonton. So today we're talking about uh, the tall drink of water from Montreal, Mike Krushelnitsky. Now, uh, Krushelnitsky uh, won three Stanley Cups as a player with the Oilers and one as an AC with the Red Wings. In a career of 897 games, he had 241 goals and 328 assists for 569 career points. Uh, born in Montreal, he grew up in LaSalle. He is the father of the Lee Valley Phantoms ice hockey forward, Alexander Krusenitsky. So, first came to major prominence, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with uh, St. Louis of the CCHA and Montreal of the QMJHL. In the 79 draft year, he was taken 120 overall by Boston, 15 goals and 19 assists for 24 points. He left St. Louis University during his freshman year to return to Canada and play major junior hockey. He's been used primarily as a center throughout his junior and college career. So as it stood at the, the, the key point of his uh, career, uh, they were scouting him since a youth when he played in the 73 Quebec International VW Hockey Tournament with a minor hockey squad from Laval. After being selected by the Bruins in the sixth round, he played for the Springfield Indians and the Erie Blades in the AHL before Baking's debut with the big team. This was October 21st, 81 against the Canadians. Now, his years in Boston were quite uh, successful. Uh, uh, two straight 20-goal seasons after his call-up. Uh, 23 goals in 83. Big 14 points in a postseason. We talked about uh, Boston's getting to the semifinal round that year. And in 84, he had 25 counters and 45 uh, points. Now, uh, I, ironically, ladies and gentlemen, the trade uh, for Kenny Linsman was kind of a shocker because Edmonton was glad to have him. I think there was uh, some indication that it was either because of contract or whatever, but we didn't see that coming. This was a year right after Linsman had scored the winner uh, in the Stanley Cup. Now, uh, multiple numbers he played uh, with during his career. Third three and 25 with Boston. Number 26 with Edmonton and LA in Toronto and number 18 with Detroit. So, uh, again, uh, many, many awards and honors. Made the All-Star game with Edmonton in 85. Lost the Stanley Cup with Detroit in 95. He was uh, Edmonton's top first-year order in 85. He was the, won the Edmonton Community Service Award in 88. Now, ironically, he was named Detroit's video scouting technician prior to the 2003 season and remained there for the campaign. Now, he was uh, Detroit's AC on December 26, 96 and remained there for the rest of the season. Now, he began playing left wing on a regular basis once he entered the NHL. And, of course, the big line that he uh, hit the ice with with Middleton and Barry Peters for Boston in 83. He, uh, he led all the NHL, NHL rookies with 14 points in 83 playoffs. Unfortunately, 84 uh, included a separated right shoulder that uh, hurt his production that year. He also missed parts of the 86 season with a sprained right knee. An injury suffered during Edmonton's game versus Chicago on December 8, and with a rigor aggravation of the right knee, an injury suffered during the game at Quebec <coughs> on Valentine's Day 86. Now, he also missed part of Edmonton's 87 training camp when the team suspended him for not reporting for the starting camp while engaged in contract holdout he orchestrated with his agent, Bob Beal. He also missed part of the 88 season with a back spasm, an injury suffered in December 87. Again, the gretzky uh, McSorley package deal uh, to the Kings for that bastion of uh, picks, players, and money. He also was one, suspended one game by the NHL in 89 for receiving his second stick-related minor penalty of the campaign. Major penalty campaign. Pain, 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 pain. Now, he also missed part of the 90 season with a hairline fracture in his left hand. An injury suffered and was checked by Luke Richardson during LA's October 1589 season opener versus Toronto. Now, on, the, on the, the Maple Leaf squad, he played in a line with Mike Felino and Craig Berbe uh, uh, in 91-92. Of course, Craig is the uh, the new head coach of the Leafs. Now, he had another injury in 94. He had a disc irritation in his back. 
and suffer injury suffered versus Tampa Bay January 4, 94. Now he missed parts of the 95 season with left knee injury, suffered during Detroit's January 29th 95 game versus Edmonton, uh, and uh, an injury with the lower left leg, which occurred this February 7, 95, and with a sprained left knee, suffered during Detroit's March 6, 95 game in Vancouver. He did attend uh, Edmonton's 95 training camp, but was unable to make the team and instead retired from NHL to pursue a coaching career on October 4th, 95. Now, uh, did play a few more games with Montreal and the Q. Again, anyway, Springfield, Erie, Cape Breton of the AHL, his recovery campaign, of course, Milan and Italy. Now, he was named Cape Breton's player assistant coach on October 4th, 95, but stopped playing after 95-96 season and remained uh, in that position for the campaign. He was named Milan's player assistant coach prior to the 97 season and remained there until December 96. He was also named Fort Ward CHL head coach in December 97 and remained there through the 99 season. Now, ironically, he was very, very active uh, in his education. He took uh, business classes at Loyola Marymount University during off seasons of his playing days in LA. Very active in charitable uh, causes. The man he also called Crush. Uh, including work as an RA co chairman of Edmonton's Big Brothers and uh, Big Sisters and the Children's Wish Foundation of Canada. Now, uh, many things you remember for besides the trade, we'll get that into uh, a second. The, uh, the, the trade really helped uh, Kushelitsky, uh when he, uh, uh, for Linsman, uh, while playing left wing on the Oilers' top line with Gretzky and Curry. He finished fourth on the team, team in scoring with a, a career high 43 goals and 88 points. Now, again, the three Stanley Cups at Edmonton 85, 87, 88, and the McSorley deal uh, again uh, uh, happened because Gretzky had personally requested McSorley and Kosherlitsky be part of the trade because he wanted someone to play with in LA. Um, he was later, uh, again, he skated with the Leafs and Red Wings before retiring after 95. Now, for many, he's best remembered for scoring an OT goal as a member of the Kings that eliminated the heavily favored and defending Stanley Cup champion Flames for the 90th Stanley Cup playoffs in a sixth game under a Spike Division semifinal, leading in part to his former team, the Oilers, winning another Stanley Cup at the end of the playoff season. He chipped the puck over Flames goalie Mike Vernon at 314 on the second OT while laying flat on the ice after being knocked down during a goal mount scramble. CBC Hockey Night in Canada play-by-play announcer Chris Gutbert called the goal in a dramatic fashion. Kruselitsky to the net, and Vernon again made the save. Back it comes Duchesne shooting. Vernon kicks that out. Rebound. They score. Well, I can't do Chris Gutbert, but who can? After retirement again, Kruselitsky was an AC in Detroit when he won the Cup in 97, but left after winning his fourth title and to become head coach of the CHL's Fort Worth Fire, a post he held under the team folded in 99. Now, when he coached in the KHL in 2007, uh, it was uh, from November 2008 to 2009 for Vichyav Chekhov. In between these two stints with the KHL, he was coach of the Ingolstadt Panthers in the Germany in the DL, EL League. Now, uh, somewhat of a celebrity on the ice in a different way, in 2013, he competed in the fourth season of CBC's figure skating reality show Battle of the Blades. He was voted out on October 7th, losing to Oksana Kayesikov and Vladimir Malahov. Again, uh, very interesting. So, uh, again, the Montreal Juniors, 1980 campaign, 99 games and 99 points in 72 games, 39 counters. Springfield in 81, 25 counters, 82 with Erie, 31. So, with Edmonton, 43, 16, 16, and 20. LA in 89, 26 goals. 1990 had 16. Split time between the Kings and the Leafs, 18 goals in 74 games and 91. Uh, 92, 24 points, 72 games. 93, 39 points in 84 uh, games. And, of course, a big part of their semifinal run that year were 10 points in the postseason. 94, he had 11 points in 54 uh, contests. 1995, with uh, Detroit, 5 points in 20 games. K. Breton in 96, he had 41 points in 50 games, including 16 goals, 78 minutes in penalties. And with H.C. Mil- uh, Milano Saima, Two games in Italy in 97. Again, final NHL totals, 897 games played, 569 points, 241 counters, uh, 139 postseason games, uh, 29, 43, and 72. 
Now, ironically, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he won uh, he won these cups not in '84 because he was still with Boston at the time, but uh, in the playoffs for Edmonton in those four big years, he had uh, uh, some some strong numbers: uh, nine, twelve, sixteen goals, and uh, thirty nine points in those uh, postseason matches. Again, Gretzky's pretty well second line. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Krushelitsky. A lot of people felt. He should have had a better career, and a lot of people said he was hampered on playing on Gretzky's line, but when asked to play defense for Toronto and the different teams, you know, he was pretty good. And the thing is, you're always going to be connected with Wayne Gretzky uh, if you're traded with him like Marta McSorley was. And uh, I really think that L.A. had a good chance to win the Cup in uh, in 93, and the reason why they didn't win the Cup because Kuczynski wasn't there anymore. He was playing with Toronto. So I think Gretzky would have had better have him as his second line, line mate. I think it would have been better. So, so ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing here, we're a Boston Bruins uh, podcast. Let us know what a like, comment, subscribe, or share.